Hey guys, it's time to talk about the Galaxy S9. Samsung is fully focused on seizing the opportunity. As we know, the iPhone X is having the delay issues. Samsung already started the software development, G960 for the Galaxy S9 and G965 for the S9 Plus. Last month, we have heard that Samsung has secured almost all of Snapdragon 845 processors for the Galaxy S9 family, just like they did last year. And now a new report basically confirms that the entire first production run of the new chipset will be sold to Samsung exclusively for its Galaxy S9 phones. This Snapdragon 845 chipset will be exclusive to United States market, while other markets will get the homegrown Exynos 9 series chipset. Both processors will be based on 7 nanometer process with almost 30% more power efficient and 30% power gains. Now this is a pure domination. Samsung securing all the Snapdragon 845 CPUs will make others cry. Just like last year, LG had to use Snapdragon 820 one for the G6 and now with their G7 they might be using the same Snapdragon 835 processor unless they make their own CPUs. Same source also claims that Galaxy S9 Duo will be launching a month earlier than usual which means we can expect them to be in stores in early March. This also means that announcement will take place in February which follows all the previous rumors. According to some analysts the iPhone 10 shortage will go till March 2018 so Samsung is making sure to cash in on this golden opportunity. And a recent earning report from Wall Street Journal says that Samsung is expected to earn $110 per iPhone 10 sold. And based on this estimate, Samsung's profit from the iPhone 10 are expected to be so large that the company's revenue could earn up to $4 billion, which is a lot more than producing parts for the Galaxy S8. And now on to the juicy stuff, Samsung issued a press release to announce two new camera sensors that will be used in next year's flagships aka Galaxy S9 family and the Note 9. So one sensor is the ISOCELL Fast 2L9 with dual pixel technology and the other one is Slim 2X7 with Tetra Cell technology. The Fast 2L9 is having a 12 megapixel resolution similar to the S8 and Note 8 sensor but with a 1.28 micrometer pixel size instead of one. 1.4. With smaller pixel size, this sensor can fit into a slimmer camera module, enabling bumpless designs for Samsung flagships. This new sensor will also use the dual pixel technology for calculating the depth, meaning we don't need an extra sensor for a feature like portrait mode. The single main sensor can achieve the bokeh without the need of the secondary sensor. This is very similar to the new Pixel 2 phone, which is just the portrait mode with only one sensor. Now, this will also allow Samsung to try something different with the other sensor like a super duper wide angle lens would be much appreciated like the LG phones uh, while still having the depth effect capabilities from the main camera sensor. The Slim 2X7 sensor is having the highest camera resolution from Samsung ever. It's a 24 megapixel beast. It's also the first sensor in the industry to have a pixel size below 1.0 coming at 0.9 micrometer. This will allow 24 megapixel sensor to fit in a thinner camera camera module, creating more space for the other sensor and allowing flagships to be ultra slim with no camera bump and a premium design. The Tetra Cell technology also allows for brighter photos in dark conditions and more detailed ones in a well-lit environment. Samsung's vice president of LSI Marketing says, Fast 2L9 and Slim 2X7 are new image sensors that fully utilize Samsung's advanced pixel technology and are highly versatile as they can be placed in both front and rear of a smartphone. Wow, having a 12 megapixel and a 24 megapixel combination is insane. Portrait mode from one sensor while having a super wide angle lens. 4K video at 60 frames per second is also something we will surely 100% see. There's no secret there. And like they said, this same stuff can be used for front cameras as well, meaning brighter selfies, portrait mode selfies, even 4K videos through front camera is possible. The cameras on Samsung phones have always been great and it's about to go to a whole new freaking level. That's about it. That's all we have on the Galaxy S9. It's coming early. It's having some really 
awesome camera sensors, some insane camera sensors, and most likely it will be the first phone in the world to have an in-display fingerprint scanner, so I'm really excited for all this stuff. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe with notification on so that you don't miss any future update, future video, and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you think about these two camera sensors, what would you like to see with the cameras on the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.